What is up everyone? This is the Chig coming at you with another World of Warcraft Season of Discovery guide. Today I'm going to be teaching you a super lazy way to make money without ever leaving Stormwind. This works best if you have enchanting and you are a paladin. Um, and by works best, you must be a paladin for this to work. So, um, what we're going to do, we're boosting people. Obviously, boosts sell for different amounts on different servers, so your mileage may vary. You can get a super lazy at minimum 50 gold an hour over here where I'm at. Um, otherwise, it can go up, it can go down, it can go sideways, just depends. So, what we're going to be doing here is using my ret gear with a sword and shield. I just have a green that has plus block chance on it. I have the blood moon event weapon and... You see just an amalgamation of PvP gear here. This is literally everything from the PvP vendors. Except for my cloak, which... You know, Blood Rock Cloak, not bad. It's also from Blood Moon, but... There you go. Um, if I had a Strength Cloak, I'd probably put the Strength Cloak on, but... Ant, a little bit of spell power, can't go wrong. Alright, so... Here is what I'm using as far as gear and runes. So down here on your wrist, what you could do if you had it and you weren't lazy like me is use Hammer of Wrath. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use, um, not Hammer of Wrath, Hammer of Righteousness. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Hammer of Wrath rune because I'm lazy and I'm not going to get any use out of it. So what we're doing is we're running around in prod spec. We're just pulling and we're going to like three pull the entire dungeon and hang out and just you're going to beat the lockout. Like, there's there's no problems. If you need linen, you can do this. If you need wool, you can do this. You can get a little bit of silk. There's blues on these drop tables. There's greens. If you need some low-level enchanting mats, if you are boosting your buddies, if you are boosting your own character like I am here, I figured since I was bringing my character in here to do these quests, I may as well show you guys what I'm doing. So, Crusader Strike for mana. We have the Improved Sanctuary and... Improved Sanctuary is just good. It makes your blocks do more damage. It makes you take less damage because it doubles the effectiveness of Blessing of Sanctuary. Blessing of Sanctuary reduces the amount of damage you take by 38. So that is not a small amount. Um, it's helping out, right? Uh, on the chest, we're using Aegis because we want to block more. Um, and I'll show you the spec as well. We are using Crusader Strike on the Gloves. Like I said, Sheath of Light to get some more spell power because sometimes we heal, sometimes we need it, and it's going to make our Consecration do more damage. Our Consecration can't crit because we're not using Wrath, but there you go. Um, Avenger's Shield, you could also use Exorcism on your pants. It doesn't really matter. I never push the button. You can use it if you want. You can use it as a ranged pull. You don't have to ranged pull with this. This is seriously just super chill and fun to do. Um... And then what I do recommend is using Guarded by the Light on your feet. Uh, that way you just have infinite mana to do whatever you need and you're just fine, right? Um, it reduces the amount you're healing, but that's okay. We don't really care. You do need a weapon chain because these guys do disarm. They do disarm. So get a weapon chain if at all possible because otherwise you're not going to be able to hit them when you're disarmed. You're not going to be able to heal when you're disarmed. And you're going to struggle a little bit in that regard. So, the build. Five points into readout. I got three points into improved Devo Aura just to move on down. I, in hindsight, would have put two points into Guardian's Favor to get Bubble. Um, be able to do that. Precision to move down the tree. Toughness, because toughness is amazing. Blessing of Kings, you don't really need it because you're using Blessing of Sanctuary. You're going to put three points into Shield Specialization because increases the amount of damage you block you're going to get reckoning because reckoning is amazing you're going to get blessing of sanctuary because that is required and you're going to get one-handed weapon specialization this is just going to make your auto attacks do more damage so you also need to get concentration so put five points in divine strength five points in a spiritual focus so you can heal yourself without getting any pushback switch from retribution aura over to concentration aura and you can literally just cast in their face and they can't do anything about it and you're going to get Consecration. So we're going to use Consecration to do all of our damage, or at least the majority of our damage. And that's where we're going to be with that. Um, you can also do this with a Shockadin build, but you actually have to pay more attention. This is super easy. So what we're going to do, we are going to actually make my Rogue move so she doesn't go AFK while we're doing this. But you are going to use Seal of Light. You really don't ever have to judge because the things you're 
smack and die too quickly. So use Seal of Light, run around. If you want to bring Swiftness Potions for this, you can, but here's what we're going to do. You can use your Avenger Shield to pull if you want. You don't have to, obviously, but we're just going to run around and we are going to um, basically Crusader Strike on cooldown whenever something's in range. Make sure you are tabbing over to keep things in range so you are constantly healing yourself up because being able to heal is kind of the big deal. Um, you want to have your Purify on your bar because you need an easy way to be able to do that and be able to cleanse the disease that these guys put on you because it does give you more physical damage taken so how i like to do this is i pull the first big old set i plant my feet i do judge bosses because they live a little bit longer after you plant your feet go ahead cleanse just spam cleanse when you need to and stand right here use your seal of light to stay topped up your i happen to have one of the mobs that stuns in my first pull here so it's a little unfortunate but i'll be fine as you can see your health does not go down quickly you are safe as long as you're paying attention even if you get stunned you don't really go down very quickly if you are getting super low and by super low i mean under 15 percent like we are here um bubble heal and don't worry about it right like just throw a couple heals like i said you have basically infinite mana so we are not stressing anything um, the reason I got low is because I was trying to talk while I was um, doing the kill phase here and I forgot to put my seal of light back up. Um, as you can see, when you keep seal of light up, you don't have anything to worry about. So I really don't see any concerns, right? I've not had any issues with this. Um, like I said, if you want um, and you're not lazy like me, you can go ahead and you can grab the rune for your wrists to give you Hammer of the Righteous, which is going to give you more DPS, obviously. So, but yeah, this is the run. This is all you have to do. Keep up your seal of light, stay in combat, run around. So the reason I came out and went right there is if you go left... Um, those mobs over there are the ones that have the stun. Um, the inmates are the ones that have the disarm and have the, um, disease. The ones on the other side are the ones that have the stun. So the reason we got the stun earlier is because one of the pats was over there when we were making the pull. Um, which happens sometimes. Obviously you saw that it is not a deal breaker. It is not a pull breaker. We did not have any problems at all. We were able to finish up and do everything we needed. We were able to just keep concentrate on the ground, keep healing as we needed to, keep cleansing. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but I literally, the whole time I'm standing here, I am spamming Crusader Strike and I am spamming Cleanse because that disease increases the amount of physical damage you take by an amount which means it's negating part of your um, part of your blessing of sanctuary, which is a problem because that is our main form of survivability. Um, so you can literally do this, put it on free for all, like I said, get your um, enchanting mats, get your cloth, get everything. Um, and your cloth is gonna be selling for obscene amounts so if you guys are wondering why i did that pull that way it is mainly because i am just running around and doing this in a chill manner you are gonna beat the timer basically regardless right so um what i'm gonna do is since my rogue needs the bosses i am just gonna go ahead and grab the boss and go back towards the door but as you can see you can just do what you need to do it's super easy you don't have any problems you can just keep on doing this at infinitum um 
once you beat the lockout, you can switch around, you can make sure that you flip it over, you can do everything you need to do to go empty your bags and everything. Like, it's just a super easy, super chill run. You don't really have to worry about anything. Like, is it as fast as hunters and mages? No. It is so much safer though because you can just face tank all the mobs. You can pull it at your leisure. You don't have to worry about anything. But that is how to boost stocks on a paladin. Um, I'm going to be coming out with some of the AoE farms. I'm going to show you how to do ZF and stuff on the pally. Um, I'll probably boost my rogue and ZF to be completely honest because I can stealth to the to the uh, spot and chill and all that. So. You know, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, this is how this goes. You can, if you like, go ahead and grab the other side down here where those mobs stun. I would, however, recommend that you don't pull as many. And I will go show you, just so you know. Um, obviously, you can kill all the bosses. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about struggling with anything. But... So the inmates aren't the ones that stun you, it's the insert, or not the insurgents, the convicts. The convicts can stun you, right? So those are the ones you gotta worry about. They're rogue mobs, and when they stun you, you can't mitigate when stunned. But that's literally the only thing. Just wanted to show you guys that before I, see, there you go. Backhand stun, so you can't mitigate while stunned. So on this side, you just gotta take the pull a little slower, but you'll be fine. Um, there's not a lot of loot in here that's like notable like i said you're gonna get a lot of greens to disenchant there are some good rings um there's a couple of decent blues in here but nothing that sells for more than like 10 gold or so um so just make sure you're paying attention to what you get when you do get drops but this is more just uh to boost people chill out and make money without leaving swarming um anyway i'm gonna finish up this run um you guys I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully this helped you out. Uh, if it did, leave me a comment. Let me know what else you might like to see. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.